Hey everyone, today we're diving into a game that's been on my radar for a while now, Soul Mask. This game's got an ancient Aztec vibe mixed with some hardcore survival sandbox elements that might just remind you of Conan Exiles. But let me tell you, Soul Mask is carving its own path in the genre. Set in the mystical Aztec themed world, Soul Mask drops you right into the thick of the Aztec jungle and it's up to you to survive, explore, and build your own tribe. The game's got this rich, vibrant world that's just begging to be explored. But it doesn't stop there. In Soul Mask, the elements aren't just obstacles. They're key players in the game. Temperature, wind, rainfall, they all have a say in how things pan out. Your visibility can drop in a heavy downpour, or the chill of an unexpected cold snap can force you to seek shelter or risk hypothermia. Now let's talk about the inhabitants, the creatures roaming this vast land. They're not just mindless NPCs. Each one has distinct traits or behaviors that make them feel alive. You might come across a pack of creatures huddling together for warmth in a sudden chill, or witness the migration patterns of herds seeking greener pastures with the changing of seasons. And the barbarians? Oh, the barbarians. Each one you encounter isn't just a potential recruit or enemy. They're individuals with their own personalities, hobbies, and talents. You might stumble upon a barbarian who's an exceptional hunter, capable of tracking prey like no other, or one who's a bit of a botanist with a knack of identifying medicinal plants that could save you and your tribe in a pinch. All right, folks, let's get into the nitty gritty of what makes Soul Mask stand out, the tribe mechanic. This isn't your run of the mill, team up and play feature. It's about building a community, a family in the midst of chaos. You start off solo, but soon you're scouting for potential tribe members. And here's where it gets juicy. You're not just inviting them over for a cup of tea. You're pulling off full-blown heists to persuade these vagabonds and barbarians to join your cause. So once you unlock the deter ability, you're able to recruit these NPCs to your tribe. And by recruit, I really mean kidnapping and enslaving. This normally entails fighting them and then using your soul mask's deter ability to basically knock them unconscious, taking them out into a coma. You then get to nurse your new buddy back to health by putting them on a liquid only diet. Also, you might have to carry them back to your base in the dark. It's probably a good idea to do your recruiting efforts during the daytime hours. But once they're in, it's not about keeping them as mere pawns. No, you're training them, gearing them up, and turning them into the backbone of your Aztec empire. Each tribe member has their own skill trees, stats, and perks, similar to what we touched on earlier. These perks have tiers to them as well, and some of them are bonkers broken. Assign them to craft, harvest, or even stand guard. And remember, the more hands on deck, the bigger the target you become. Other tribes will start eyeing your base, sending scouts, and if you're not ready, they'll come knocking, and not in a friendly, neighborly kind of way. So leveling up your tribe, equipping them with the best gear, and really integrating them in your survival strategy is key. It's about creating a bond, a real sense of unity and strength. All right, let's talk about the game's crown jewel, the Soul Mask system. These aren't just fancy accessories, they're game changers. Unlocking new abilities and skills as you level them up. You snag these masks from your fallen enemies from bosses that you defeat as you progress, and they're key to boosting not only your power, but your entire tribe. These masks have lots of different abilities. One of these masks allows you to interrogate scouts that you find around the world. When you find a scout and interrogate them, they will reveal new locations on the map, removing the fog of war, and identifying new points of interest. Now, let's not forget about the wild side of Soul Mask the animal recruitment system. Imagine this, you're not just a survivor or a tribe leader, you're a beast master. These games throw a whole menagerie at you. Llamas, alpacas, capybaras, monkeys, jaguars, the list goes on. Each of these creatures isn't just window dressing, they're potential tribe members. Picture yourself riding to battle on a mighty jaguar while your loyal alpaca pack mule 
trails behind, loaded with supplies. Or maybe you've got a troop of monkeys scouting ahead, alerting you of danger or hidden treasures. But more likely, they're probably just going to be bringing you bananas. It's a whole new layer of strategy and customization. You're not just recruiting these animals for the novelty, they're your companion, your secret weapon. But here's the twist. It's not just about taming these beasts, it's about understanding them, bonding with them, and integrating them into your tribe's culture. Each animal brings its unique flair to your tribe, be it as a mount or a combatant, or even just boosting morale by being adorably fierce. So when you're out there exploring these dense jungles and towering temples, keep an eye out. That next animal that you come across could be your tribe's next MVP, most valuable primate. The animal recruitment and tribe mechanics in Soul Mask aren't just features. They're what I see as the heart and soul of the game. Building your tribe, bonding with the members, human and animal, it's what sets the game apart. When we talk about multiplayer in Soul Mask, we're not just talking about dabbling in a bit of co-op or PvP. Oh no, we're talking about diving headfirst into a world where every encounter, every alliance, and every battle could write a new chapter in your tribe's story. First up, let's chat about the cooperative side of things. Teaming up in Soul Mask isn't just about sharing resources and watching each other's back. It's about building something together, something bigger than the sum of its parts. Imagine setting out with your tribe, your friends by your side as you explore untamed lands, uncover ancient secrets, and take on monstrous beasts that lurk in the shadows. But here's where it gets interesting. Your tribe's home base is more than just a place to kick back and store your loot. It's a living, breathing hub where each member's contributions shape its growth. Your buddies, an ace at crafting, watch as your arsenal grows to top tier gear. Got a friend who's a master strategist? Your defenses become impenetrable as they can assign tribe members to vulnerable locations within your base. It's all about leveraging each other's strengths, creating a tribe that's not just surviving, but thriving. Now let's switch gears to the PvP side of things, where Soul Mask really turns up the heat. Picture this, your tribe decked out in the finest gear, masks gleaming, standing at the gate at the enemy base. The tension's palpable. Then all hell breaks loose. Arrows flying, swords clashing, and amidst the chaos, your strategies could turn the tide of battle. But Soul Mask PvP isn't just about brute force. It's about cunning, strategy, and sometimes a bit of good old fashioned treachery, which isn't uncommon in this genre. It's about setting up ambushes, laying traps, and maybe, just maybe, striking an uneasy alliance with another tribe to take down a common foe. And the best part? The stakes are high. Winning a battle could mean plundering valuable resources, capturing key locations, or even taking prisoners to recruit into your tribe. But lose, and you could see your own base under siege. Your tribe members captured, and your hard-earned resources looted. Now for a bit of real talk and some constructive criticism, the game starts off a bit too slow for my liking, and the combat animations do seem a little clunky. I'm all for building tension and immersion, but I was just itching to dive into the unique mechanics that set Soul Mask apart from the get-go. But once you get the hang of it, it gets quite addicting. It seemed like no matter how much I played, there was always more to explore. This being a demo, there are things that are a bit rough, but I think that's to be expected. Comparing Soul Mask to Conan Exiles, it's clear there's a shared spirit. Soul Mask's current state reminds me of the early days of Conan Exiles, but I can see Soul Mask taking the survival sandbox genre to new heights with its unique Aztec twist, tribe dynamics, and the intriguing Soul Mask system. It's like standing on the shoulders of giants and reaching for the stars. Soul Mask is shaping up to be a beast in the survival sandbox genre, with its rich Aztec theme, deep tribe mechanics, and the Soul Mask system. It's a journey worth embarking on. We don't have a hard release date for Soul Mask yet, but the demo is still open for another week, so definitely hop in and check it out. That does it for today though. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Thank you.